Okay guys, I'm so excited right now because I ordered a bunch of Grimm's toys and they just arrived. Um, I've torn off my address because I don't want y'all to know where I live. Um, it came in this huge and heavy box and I'm going to do an unboxing with you. So stay tuned. So I got into Grimm's because I started off looking at Montessori wooden toys. So Montessori toys are the ones that help with specific child development and then that got me down to got me into Waldorf kind of toys which are more for imaginative pretend play and then that got me into open-ended toys so open-ended toys as opposed to closed-ended toys are more um, free form I guess like it could be anything you want you could set them up into marble runs they could be towns and cities they could be vehicles they could be people so they don't have like a fixed goal in mind like puzzles i guess puzzles is a really good example of a close-ended toy um, and because of its open-endedness you get longer play out of it um, and i guess it's more value for money because you don't have to buy like so many types of toys you just get a good set of open-ended toys and Grimm's is really popular for open-ended toys but there are a lot of like if you go online and you look up Grimm's there are a lot of sellers that make or sell Grimm's inspired toys so they look exactly like Grimm's except they are cheaper I did think long and hard about that because I can save money uh, if I bought the Grimm's inspired toys but you know they are cheaper cheaper but not cheap they're still like a few hundred bucks like if I want to get the inspired versions uh, and I understand the price point because you know um, they try to match the quality of Grimm's um, and there's a certain level of craftsmanship and like specific materials you need to get like you know solid wood and um, paint that would be safe for children but I thought you know, it's still expensive. I might as well just get the original Grimm's. And another reason is the resale value. I was looking up um, online and there are huge international communities for wooden toys, like parents who are equally obsessed as I am with wooden toys. And there's a huge resale market. So one of the reasons why I decided to go with Grimm's, um, besides the assurance of its quality and that it's you know they are the original ones um, is the resale value I don't think I can sell off um, imitation not imitation the right way the more polite way to say is inspired uh, toys I think it'd be hard for me to sell off and even if I sell it off I probably have to really lower down the price and that is if I want to sell it off I don't think I want to uh, because these are heirloom quality toys so wow it's so beautiful I'll show you so I was thinking that my children can play with it and then my children's children can play with it. Uh, so that's the thing with Grimm's and a lot of um, well-known wooden toys is that it's heirloom quality. So you're getting, actually you're getting good value for money out of it if you think about it that way. So it looks really nice. Let me show you. Hold on. Just look at the colors. It's just beautiful. So I just opened up the box and they came like this. Um, she's not old enough to play with these yet, you know. It's just me. I was obsessing over Grimm's. I couldn't sleep at night, seriously. I would be like looking through my phone um, late at night. Um, so I just had to get them. And now I can sleep peacefully at night. <laughs> Obviously, I will play with them first. I'm just so, I'm so excited to set up um, a ball run. And she's not old enough to play with them yet. The first thing I will introduce to her, and I think she'll be old enough to play with this soon, are these stacking bowls. And then the rest I will introduce gradually as she grows older. So I got the stacking bowls, the semicircles, the rainbow, which is what they're famous for, the large stepped pyramid, LSP for short, and the large convertible blue car. So let's open them up. 
I'll start off with the bowls. I have to be so careful, I don't want to scratch the wood. I'll just use my fingers. These are the bowls. So nice. Semicircles and the rainbow. I think I won't open these up yet. I just want to keep them in the plastics. It's the car. This is the large convertible blue car. It's in this like Chinese take up box. nice color. It's like a powder blue color. And it comes with these two tag dolls. Oh, blue and orange. And now I'll open up the large step pyramid. Let me bring this down lower. Show this to you. They come in two layers. Just look at the colors. Hmm. I just sniffed it. <laughs> it's got a matte texture, a little bit rough, which is intentional so that it grips onto the other blocks. Like, I mean, they all have this uh, grip um, when you are stacking them. And, you know, you can see the grain through the color, which is beautiful. So. They're all natural greens. Let me stack them up. They're all four by four centimeters um, with different heights. The tallest one is 20 cm and the shortest one is a cube four by four by four. They are a set of 100 blocks made of lime wood. Um, so they've got really nice green. Let me compare them with the regular blocks. Let me get them out. Hold on. I thought of showing you a side-by-side -side comparison between the IKEA Mula plastic stacking cups and the Grimm's wooden bowls. Now the IKEA ones, I think they are really good value for money. It's a good buy. Um, and it's a great toy. They've also got these holes at the bottom, like in different designs, which is great for bath time. It's actually a man with a smiling face and a hat. And these are the Grimm's bowls. So this one has two holes and it had this piece of paper here, which says, the two air holes in this bowl are not defects. They guarantee product safety, exclamation mark. There you go. This is the Harpe beach block set. It's just, you know, a regular set of wooden stacking blocks that you could get at the toy store, not necessarily the Harpe brand. And the first thing I noticed is the size. Like the Grimm's blocks are much bigger in size. They go by four centimeter measurements. The Harpe one that I have goes by three centimeter measurements. Oh, another thing I like about Grimm's is the color gradation. You can see here like light blue, dark blue, and all the shades in between. It's got really good um, color gradation. With the Hape block, um, I can tell that the pink coat is thicker. I can still see the wood grain, but the coating, is th the coating of the pink is thicker. It's glossy and smooth. With the Grimm's, it's more matte 
and it's got a bit more of a rough texture. The pink coating here is much thinner, so the wood grain is more obvious. And it's, you know, got this good grip against the blocks. Better for, which is good if you want to build like um, taller, more complex structures. With the harpe, I guess some people like this kind of fish finishing. It looks more finished, eh, but it's kind of slippery. Ooh, it's kind of slippery against each other. You see. It's not even moving. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. So that's the end of my video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Thank you. Bye-bye.